Is this escafeature you'd see more typically perhaps in the Midlands or over towards East Galway or down into East Clare. Um, so to have it here in the middle of Tala is fantastic. Um, there are 96 different species of insect growing on or living on this site, which is fantastic because you've got the grassland, you have the hedgerow, which is very important, and the grass on the other side. And of those 96 species, what's coming through is that we've got very important bee species, and everybody is very aware of how threatened our bees are at the moment and our bumble bees. So to know that we have at least three or four bee species that are threatened are very vulnerable, you know, and they're quite happy here. They're good numbers and they've got plenty to feed to feed on. So that's great for us to know that, okay, what we're doing is right. We're managing it correctly if these bees are here. Um, very interestingly, one of those species hasn't been recorded in Ireland since 1925. And both male and females were found on this site which is unusual because in other sites they've only found either the male or the female. So we have breeding pairs here, which makes this site even more unique and more specialised, particularly in an urban environment. So it's a long linear mound and it's made up of sands and gravels. So it's quite an ancient feature. But this particular site is very important for a number of different heritage reasons. It's a geological site, so it's got that kind of link to the glaciers and glaciation time. It's also a very important traveling route because in early Christian times, the monks that would have traveled along the great Escoeda that joined Dublin down into the big um, ecclesiastical centers in the Midlands and over towards Galway, there was a little spur off of that, which brought you to Tala. Just look behind us here, you've got the yellows. That's the most obvious color at the moment. And that's ladies' bed straw. And there's a beautiful scent off that. And in the past, they used to use that to stuff the mattresses of the ladies. Obviously, they'd set up does what it says on the tin and that's exactly what it did um, lovely scent off it the bees love love it another color you'll see coming through here is the little pinky flowers and that's part of the pea family it's called rest harrow um, and again that would be very unusual to find in the Dublin area that's more of the plant of the Midlands and Galway and Clare so it's lovely to see that here now over the last couple of weeks there would have been a beautiful bee orchid now that's gone over it's finished flowering what is flowering at the moment and there are plenty of it here this year because of the weather we've had are the pyramidal orchids so they're lovely little pink pyramidally shaped orchids and there's loads of those there and again the bees and the bumblebees love that and what you might see flying around if you stop long enough to look is a day flying moth it's called the six six spot burneth moth and that's beautiful it has a really distinctive flight and that's flittering from orchid to orchid so just stop and look and you'll be amazed at what you see. We're actually on what was known as Time and Lane in years gone by. It connected Tala with Green Hills and Walkins Town. And the reason why we have it still existing, at least the plant still existing, is because of the way it's managed at the moment by the public realm staff. Um, the habitat that's growing here is seen as a priority habitat. It's a habitat that across the whole country we are supposed to be making an extra effort to maintain. So I'm delighted to say that in such a small area here, with less than half an acre, that we're actually, we actually have a, a priority Annex 1 habitat. We have 96 very rare species, or 96 species of insects, and five of them are actually very important nationally. And one of them hasn't been recorded since 1925. And so we've got such a gem here. This is the gem in one of our parks, 